taking questions as soon as possible, please. Yeah, I think it was quite evident. Uh, me and my wife, we both are pregnant. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much. And we we just wanted to share the news with, share the happiness with everyone, to get uh, all the good wishes and love and care, encouragement. And uh, we thought of many ways to announce it. But at the end of the day, we both fall fell back on on the most cliche, most common way of a football announcing it. Uh, I did take my wife's permission and she agreed. And uh, yeah, and yesterday was 11th June. 11th June 2004 was the first time we met. So we said the next game against Vanuatu, if I score, then we'll announce and, and thank you so much. Uh, it was just a way of both of us sharing this news with, with everyone in the country, just to get all the love, good wishes and affection as always. It was it was getting a little bit more nervy as time passed by. We were we were good in the areas of build up and creating chances, but at the last final pass or the final shot or the decision making was wasn't great, was dismal and I'm pretty sure the coach is gonna tell us that. When we watch the the aftermath of the videos, I'm pretty sure the attackers are not going to enjoy it because we'll hear a lot from the coach. Because we, we worked really hard on moving the ball and I think we did well. We, we created a lot of chances but the final pass or the final shot or the final decision was was not good at all. So I think uh, with each passing minute we were getting a little bit more desperate. But the good part was we were creating chances which is always good for a team. And at the end of the day one fell in our pocket. Uh, you know we, we can always say we could have scored more but at the end of the day in international football, international game we are really happy that we could keep clean sheet and we could get three points and now we are qualified for the finals. See I'm not sure I'm, I'm someone who is not about numbers but I'm, I can tell you one thing I will never forget this goal. For probably not the number reason, but for 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 the other most important reason. So I think, uh, apart from the fact that uh, this gave us three points, which is always the prime prime motive. But today's goal, probably me and my wife will never forget it. How do you assess Mahesh's performance? Boy, he's good man. We love him. We love him in the camp. Uh, it is not very often that a guy comes out of nowhere and becomes a very important part of the of the system he's fighting against some some very t some top players who have been here for four years this is a young kid who had a great season in his bengal and you know whenever somebody has a great season in the isl you always think let's see let's see how he does the senior boys they always have this and it's an unsaid thing but this boy has come and and, and everyone loves him not only because he's a He's a top player, but he's a good boy, works really hard. Do not be fooled by his small size. He's, he's tough, he's fast, and he has a very good understanding of the game. That is the reason why you can see him playing in the first eleven. It is not easy for a youngster to, to come and do that. And we, have, we all love him in the camp. He's, he's somebody who, is not, who, is, who, is, who, who doesn't say a lot of words, but he's somebody who's really loved. Someone like Changte, who is also loved by the whole entire group. Uh, I think Mahesh is one of them and I can tell you he's... I'm always wary of praising some youngsters because I don't want to put a lot of pressure. But I think this, this, this boy has a has, has good future because he's, he's a top-notch player. Any more questions? It becomes easier when you're 38. When you're 20, it it's a little bit more difficult because there are many other things you have to think about. When you're 38, there is nothing else. Just eat well, sleep early and run. It becomes easier. <laughs> I think uh, one of the motivation and I think the most important motivation is I, I, I love playing football. 
and on top of that i love playing for my country i do understand that i do not have many games many years or i don't know left so whatever game if whenever you see me for the country and the club uh, more important for the country you will see me giving everything that i've got because i do understand i don't have many left so i think whenever somebody comes to the national camp and he sees sunil chetri the captain giving everything it is a good example you can have a good day you can have a bad bad day but coming and playing for the country and not giving your best is not acceptable and when the captain can do it and is doing it everyone should do it so that's the kind of small pressure that i take on myself to be a good example you can have a bad touch you can miss a goal you can miss a header you can do a lot of bad things technical bad things but running chasing and giving your best should be mandatory for everyone who plays for the country and if a 30 year old 38 year young captain can do it then everyone can do it uh, last question please please sit please sit please sit thank you so much i think a big part of that is i'm surrounded by some amazing teammates amazing team and i'm i'm quite fortunate that i'm really loved even though if you see my demeanor and anything that I'm, i'm i'm very serious but i i want to believe all the boys that i've played with right from mahesh kaldi bachin bhutia and ed singh to now narom suresh all the youngsters i've played for with some <laughs> different batches and i think i do have the confidence of all of them everyone enjoys it when i score and i'm let me tell you it's 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 not common it's not common when you play for different clubs different parts at different places it is not common that you are first expected then encouraged and wanted to score goals i've been very fortunate wherever i've gone people have gone out of their way to help me to score and it's not only uh demark to the players but the coaches the physios the doctors everyone mo- wants me to score and it's quite evident so i'm i'm, I'm really pampered my work is just to and it might sound very cliche but my work is very simple it's to eat right sleep on time and come and give my best that's all i do everyone takes care of me it's amazing you come to the camp you will love to be with sunil chetri it's an honor no i'm i'm not joking it's a privilege because i don't do much my only work is to eat right sleep on time and and it it's <laughs> even my family you know he has to sleep okay music off he has to sleep okay food at 7 o'clock he has to sleep okay no going out he has to sleep everyone knows it and i'm quite pampered so if after getting all these privileges i cannot go and play which is the most simplest thing and then shame on me so i think the motivation part is taken care of because i'm i'm really pampered the only thing i have to do and go and play and uh, the final question you are greedy by the way anyways go on <laughs> so let me let me now be greedy i think the numbers are great but i would love i would love to see more at the stadium it's an amazing stadium i do understand that there has been a has been a very very bad experience that orissa has gone through and my heart goes out to every one of them who has been affected but if anyone who can and who has time and who can come and watch please come and support not because i'm asking is because the country is playing the boys are playing quite well uh, i'm not sure whether we're going to win it or not but i'm pretty sure that everyone is going to give their best so if you can in odisha we're playing next in 3 days and then in 3 days again if you can and if you have time please come it's it's enjoyable thank you okay I wish I was a coach sir I have no idea what's the mood I can tell you one thing we are only primarily thinking about this tournament but one thought is also the Asia Cup qualifiers and I know it's a distinct thing so if you see a few changes are here and there you should not be surprised although I do not know because we have played two games now almost everyone got a chance the coach had made it clear to us he didn't he didn't tell anyone else but now the third game I'm not sure because only he can tell what's going to happen 
from our side the 26 27 players are just going to get ready to play a match oh, they are they are quite good they are quite good they can i mean if we have watched two games we have watched their before matches also they are quite strong and uh, yeah it's going to be a different oppo opposition saying that the first two games were an easy but i think they have more talent if i may say so they have uh, i think they are, they're going to give us a different problem thank you everyone thank you, thank you so much so i think i know need no introduction first of all coach if you can share your thoughts after today's game uh, very shortly uh, another clean sheet another win many things were not as i wanted it to be and i will work on that you know but many things were also beautiful you could enjoy in them uh, what i'm happy about is consistency is trying not losing faith because when when you don't open the score in games like this you could see lebanon today it's becoming more and more difficult with minutes passing by you know and minutes passing by very quick when you're not scoring so we kept faith we didn't lose the clarity in idea what we need to do we kept doing that and the goal came so it's good character the team has shown good character today yes I know you from Saudi. <laughs> before, uh, before the changes, uh, it, it didn't look like that your team was at that same rhythm like the first match. So, no, you are right. Uh, I was not happy with the start of the game. We were sloppy. We were slow, especially in uh, switching sides, in passing. And that's why I went a little bit angry, I would say, you know. And uh, some players need to speed up, you know. We need to be there. We need to be tight on the players when we are off the ball. They need to keep moving and passing quicker to open the gaps and, and find the areas from which we can hurt the opponent. That was not good. You are right. Uh, so, coach, uh, you decided to interchange uh, Naurem and uh, Nanda in the second half. Yes. It, the decision behind it. Yes. And also, you know, Chetri, you know, it was like Chetri wasn't able to get past the defenders for very long. And we be beginning to believe that he's, he won't be able to do it tonight. But then again, you know, the moment of magic happened. I mean, most of the games of Sunil Chetri is you don't see him anywhere and then he scores and decides the game. So why to question that? You know, that's first thing. Second thing, I think that both Naurem and uh, Nanda had a good game good game and I wanted to see them on both sides how they operate because we were uh, doing some drills for both flanks and I want all the players to understand on each flank what they need to do how they need to move Coach, I'm Unal from Ashkal newspaper Coach, one thing is that as you have just uh, mentioned that uh, about the players you want to see so you have some made some changes do you think actually that that uh, the holding midfielder like Donald Thapa was missing at that time and you put him, that makes the difference in the main actually the attacking things actually? Oh, it's a hypothetical question. If he was there from the, from the beginning, he might be conceding goals. We're never going to know that, you know. So I'm not going to, to go back to that what if what if this what if that you know if someone was there they all need to be there when they are chosen and especially you need to understand that i cannot look at this like one game i have either picture i have nine games in 25 days and imagine if i start first two games with the same 11 players how far we can go after third game we are gone those 11 who didn't play lose the confidence and interest in competing. Those 11 who played all the minutes on the pitch, they are dead. They cannot give you anything anymore with such conditions. So you need to have a wider picture and look different in certain decisions coaches are making. You could see Mongolian coach today. He started with the 10 players from the bench today game. And he got a point because as the game was passing by, Lebanon didn't score. It was becoming more and more difficult for them. Because their players played first game also, they didn't make many changes. So it's, you need to have a wider picture. You cannot look just at 
these 90 minutes today. You need to look prior to that, beyond that, and further on what's coming up to us. Now we have two games against Lebanon. You know, we are much fresher than them now. I have many more fresh legs than Lebanon. Also, we need to be careful because three of their foreign foreign-based players are joining the team now to reinforce the team, so it's going to be a totally different team. But that's why we are planning like this. Rest the best players, give them enough time to recover, and do the best you can against better sides. Coach, uh, yeah. 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 This is, uh, my name is Amitav, I am from the Hindu newspaper. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, the thing is that this is one of the longest uh, durations when the Indian team will be staying together, maybe till the first of uh, first week of July. Nearly, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, now this brings the question that now that they have been together for quite, quite some time with under your coaching, and but the performance is uh, varying from set to set. You played the first set in the first match. Now we have another set playing today. Maybe brought a lot of players from the bench. So how do you see this? Like the uh, total performance of the team? We barely started. You know, I told you that we might be suffering first two games. Do you remember that? Did I say that? And after the second game, the, we should be progressing and rising up in uh, quality of the game, in everything about football, you know. And that's how we were programming these 45 days and you know, 50 days where we need to be together with nine games to be played. That's the only way to do it. But you need to understand also that we don't have seven or eight players here which are most probably probables for the first 11. So it's again, it's not ideal preparation. And it's again not ideal picture we are getting from here because soon Brandon will be back, Sana will be back, Yasir will be back and all the others which are not with us. We didn't have today available Ashik, Beke and, and Ishan, you know, for minor reasons and uh, minor injuries. But that's, that's how it works. So you need to choose and pick from what you have available. No, they were not doing well in the final third. They were doing great until the box. But in the box, finishing is missing. I, and I cannot help you there. I cannot help them there. I cannot help Indian football there. I can help Indian football get in front of the box, get in front of the goal. But there, it's them who need to do it, you know. It's as simple as that. I think that's even Guardiola said that when they asked him, you know, last few games your team is not scoring. And he said something like that. I can help my team get into the final third. But there they need to do it by themselves. So if you come in front of the goal in good positions like we did today in first 20 minutes five times and you miss such a big goal with open shots, no help from either coaches in the clubs, ISL and I-League officials, move foreigners, put Indian players to practice, to play centre forwards and to score goals. Thank you very much. Coach, uh, something here from ABP News Network. Uh, you are playing Lebanon next. Uh, you have lost point in today's match. So is it going to give you any psychological edge as you have already gained six points and almost in the point of view? In what sense? They have lost points today. So what? What that got to do with us? We are playing at home and we come out every game trying to win it. So we're not looking at what they have done in the previous game. We know it's going to be difficult because you could see that they have, with some of their players, enormous quality. They do have weaknesses. We could see that also. But it was much more difficult for them to play two games at 4 o'clock with such humidity and the heat. So. It's going to be an interesting game. Maybe not a beautiful game, but very interesting. Yeah, last question. We have another one. Oh, okay. uh, hi, Coach. So, uh, so, you have been training over here at the battalion grounds over with the team. So, does you, do you think that a good turf can always help you 
Why do you think you, every, every coach loves to play these friendly games at home? To get certain advantages? To get certain protection from referees even? As simple as that. Why we, are, we were not winning friendly games when we were for two years playing away and you were not happy with the team? Because you go away, you play on their turf. Is it artificial turf? Is it the turf which is with the speedy grass or different grass from which you are training on? All these little things are advantages to the home team. Now we are enjoying these advantages and I'm so pleased and so happy. Thank you. What's the question, please? You went too long. I rotated everyone as far from now. So each each 22 players besides the third goalkeeper has participated in the first two games. Now we're going to see the screenings. We're going to see tomorrow training session with those who didn't participate today in the game and the minus one training session in two days time will show us who are the fittest 11 players to come out and win against Lebanon. Thank you everybody for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you coach. With us. Coach, I'll ask one question to you before throwing the floor open. Um, it's a loss for you. Uh, your thoughts about the game? Yes, uh, first of all, I, do, I want to thank the people from India and uh, All Indian Football Confederation for the opportunity they can give us to, to be here, to be part of the, uh, this tournament. And I believe that uh, it will help us as a, a country from Oceania. Uh, I know that people from here, they don't know us, but I'm so very proud as a coach for my boys to play this game, especially with Indian team. They, they have to, they have to play, they have to play for their crowd, they have to play for their people because they play in their home and they have to, to do their best. Unfortunately, we, we cannot do it. But I'm very proud for, for the boys. They can give everything until the end of the game, but I'm very proud. Yeah, the changes that happen during the game is all about the, um, the player commitment inside the field during the, the game. And as a coach, you can, you can make the change. Uh, is that required that uh, if we saw that player cannot do it anymore, we need to make the change to keep the team solid and keep on playing until uh, have a good fighting spirit until the end. Yes, I think, uh, thank you uh, for, that, for that goal that uh, uh, the player maker and uh, for Indian team. Uh, I know that he's uh, uh, a legend from uh, Indian football and uh, people from India. But uh, yeah, this is football. Uh, Indian team continue to, to press us by uh, playing from outside and doing more crossing. That's why uh, we, if we are not focused and we lose concentration when there is a crossing every time, then that will be possible to, to score against us. But, yeah.
you have played better and uh, your team is very aggressive and they are defending well. But, but what is lacking behind their winner score goal? <coughs> Yes, thank you um, for the for the idea that uh, it's very very important for 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 us as a as a team coming from Oceania. We we don't we never play a Asian Asian team in terms of national teams, but we set a strategy to see, to play, to study how we face this team. I know about Indian team, I know Asian team, but for the players sometimes we need to deal with the situation of the game and come up with something that, uh, that require. If you, if you understand our strategy, it's more about defending, we wait until the right moment, we can go forward. And I would like to say all Asian team, they are all good team. For us, we have to be there, we have to play, to give our best and to play for our country also. The most important thing I can say, we are here to, to change our FIFA ranking. This is one of the, uh, our objectives in this tournament. But we will continue to play until we finish uh, our last game with Mongolia. And I believe we will continue to play uh, good football, continue to play if lucky, we will beat uh, Mongolia in the last game. Thank you. Would you like to be more attacking now because of the reason you are out of the content going to the final? So, in the against uh, Mongolia, I might to go for a bit of attacking football. We will see from you. Yeah, we will see. We will see how we, we will organize for the uh, last game. Mongolia, I know that uh, they are coming. Uh, draw in the match with uh, Lebanon and they will also do their best to beat us but like I, like I said we are here to play we are here to play and with Mongolia in the last game we will do our best and we will go for it any more questions Yeah, for the practice before the game, we, we have only, only so far we have only two, two practice uh, training uh, because yesterday we just have uh, the rest of our group coming and we, that's why we need to deal with the situation of uh, the team that we have at the beginning with uh, Lebanon and I believe uh, with the practice few things that we 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 it's new for the, for us uh, the condition of the field uh, that contribute that uh, sometimes we find very hard because you have a good good pitch here and also we need more time we need more time but we don't have a chance to have uh, everybody on time and this is life but we are here we we have a good uh, complete team now and we will continue to work for to meet the, the last game. If there are no more questions, uh, we'd like to end the post-match press conference. Thank you, Coach, for being here.